How long has she been like this? Since you left this morning. Poor little thing, she brought up her breakfast and she hasn't stopped crying while you left in there since then. Right. Hold on, please, put her on the table. We need to get Lily's neck right away. Go to the bedroom, get the baby sings, I'll call the carriage. What's the matter with her, Everett? I'll tell you in the carriage. No, tell me now. She's presenting with symptoms of meningitis. What is that? It's, it's a viral infection of the brain, and a stiff neck is a common symptom. I just can't be certain. That's why we need to go to the hospital now. Did you hear about the Gallingers? Little Lillian's sick. Her head's at an unusual angle and there's a slight swelling of the forehead. We think it's meningitis. How the hell was she exposed to that? Everett had a patient with multiple rat bites. Just another Tuesday in the neck. She looks better this morning. More robust. Look at her cheeks, they're pink. That's a healthy pink. Mrs. Gallinger, I feel it's important to be candid with you. Lillian's fever's gone up. That's the pink, you see. She's not responding to light or sound. Her fontanelle's protruding further, telling us she's got enormous brain swelling and it's increasing. She's going to get better. We've all been praying for that. And you can't give up hope your little girl will recover. But you also need to know there's a chance that the Lord will be calling Lillian home. No, no, Everett will think of something. It's really almost nothing. You brought this into our house. You admitted so yourself. You have to fix this. Do something for her, Everett. Our daughter is dying. Oh, no, please. You said there was almost nothing. That must mean there's something. What is it? Then a section. What is that? Bleeding. Has very little chance. I'll oh, take any chance. Very well done. Now, you'll always have a photo to remember her by. My condolences, ma'am. Sir. Sure.